Let's shift gears a little and talk about two more ways of direct modeling, the taper face tool and the deform tool. Both of these are in the 3D tool set, so let's look first at taper face. This will let us take the edge of an object and essentially angle it while maintaining the integrity of the object as a whole. There's two modes here, and these modes are relevant when we're dealing with tangent faces. So there's actually multiple faces on the side of this. And we can decide if we want these tangent faces that seem like they form a smooth surface together to behave all together or to be individual. So let's do the first mode. First, we select an anchor face, so let's do the top. And now the face we want to edit, and because all of these side faces are tangent, these are all going to taper together. And you can see by the preview, we can taper in or out. Looking at the other mode, again, we'll select the top as the face to taper. And here we can select an individual side. I'll select this face. And there's no preview, so it's impossible to just taper this out, but we can taper it in, something like that. And depending on what side we anchor, this tool has a different effect on the object. So the other tool is the deform tool. And this has a bunch of modes. We can twist, we can taper, we can bulge, and we can bend. And each of these modes can be symmetric, going to the top and the bottom. And it could be a finite length, or it can be the continuing the shape of the object. So this is an example of bulge. First, we identify an anchor point, and then the direction of the bulge, and then how much we want to bulge. Symmetrically bulging will go all the way around. Asymmetric will go in one direction. Now this is arcing the object. First, we select an anchor point, and then a reference angle, and then our next click will be the degree that we're curving. So symmetric will make the top and the bottom curve together. Finite length will keep the total length of the object the same while bending it to the angle that you want. Infinite length will continue to add more length to the object to make it as long as you want. And with these tools, we can get some really inter interesting shapes. So this applies a taper and a twist. And this is a shell that's curved slightly and then just has some holes punched in it. So one thing to remember about deform is you can actually work with multiple objects at once. So let's look at a twist with all of these. So we'll go to deform, twist solids, now uh, we want to select the object to twist and just holding down shift allows us to select all of these objects. Now the other thing to remember is that the center of the twist doesn't have to be on one of the objects so we can twist all of these together. So I'm going to set the center point to the middle here which happens to be the center of the page and we're just defining our starting angle. And then we can twist these around. 
as many as we want. So let's do a 90 degree twist here. This can take a second to calculate. Here we go. We've twisted all of these objects around the central point. We'll go ahead and take a minute to go through all of the various modes of the deform tool and see what you can do.